Hey guys, I'm back. So today I would like to give five quick tips before you started traveling. This is based on my experience. So for any of you who don't know, I traveled together with my partner Z for almost a year. We'll start first with the number one tip. How did I finance my travel? Simple first save up before you book a ticket. I know in my website, in our website, we put there that we just book a ticket and that's it. We, we didn't even um, plan for the countries, where is next, next, next. Because we don't have a plan, we were just like, let's just discover this place up and let's see what will happen. Which is because I'm, I'm not very organized actually, but when it comes to like being ready, I'm always ready. Like, I'm just a girl scout and that's it. Let's say me, I had like about 2,000 USD. But I told myself that I'm not gonna use like this money during my travel. At least 30 to 40 percent is the only money that I'm going to use, just in case that got stuck up to like an emergency or a situation where it we need the money and none of our relatives or none of our friends or who none of them can help us during that situation and the rest you need to find a way wherein you can find money or you can survive without using your savings number two tip is invest in your skills we were asked like okay you don't want to use up 100% of your money only 30% of your money then how were you able to finance yourself like within that travel period teaching English in a foreign language I got certified I applied online it's uh, mytafel.net because of course before I traveled I took this course for three months at the end of the course there will be an examination so if you fail you need to do a retake or something like if you didn't finish the course also within that three months you didn't even reach to the examination part then there will be an additional fee for an extension okay so invest in your skills you can get TEFL certified if you know yoga that would be good also because you can do that in in India the part-time and you can gain money or let's say you have like volunteering activities that you did before you you started thinking of traveling you can add that one up to your resume because these are like points you know it's like selling yourself number three tip is that always compare prices how did we able to pay for our plane tickets going countries to countries you have accommodation you have transportation you have uh, food also and you might find a really cute keychain you want to buy it though i don't like keychain i like dresses we all know that plane tickets you can't haggle with that unlike food unlike accommodation you can always haggle can i have it for maybe ten dollars if it's a hotel of course you can't haggle for hostels or like guest houses actually you can so that's another tip because that's what we always do and i remember in cambodia our very first stop after singapore we went to this um it's like a hotel like owned by a family at the same time they have a restaurant so we talked to them and then we said is it possible if we can stay here um, for free in exchange of maybe accommodation it doesn't matter if you're gonna give us food or not you can pay for food and we can I can do the website for marketing I can also meet the receptionist I can speak English, I can talk to the fellow travelers. That was our first rejection. <laughs> but I like it that we tried knocking, you know, on the doors. But not to the extent that you have to, like, push yourself, like, no, no, take me, please. I, mean, I can do this, I can do that, no. You still need to, like, accept whatever the decision is because they're doing business. If you get one of their room, they're gonna lose some money as well. So you have to understand. So that was our very first challenge. That was in Cambodia. We didn't succeed. But it's okay. Actually, we still have money during that time. But we just want to try it. So, yeah. Always compare prices. 
you can go to momondo.com, kayak.com, and go also to like direct website. If you go directly to the website, it's much cheaper compared to like third party website, which is very rare also in my case. So do that. So number four is go for hostels if you're traveling alone or you're traveling with friends. You can go get a dormitory type where in 16, 12, 10, 6 people are inside the room. Shared room. But it's much cheaper. It costs for only 5, 10, 15 dollars. It depends on the hostel of how much it will cost you. Secondly, you can try couch surfing. It will give you free accommodation and sometimes free food. In my case, in Brazil, at Eduardo's for one month and a half. No, one month and two weeks in Rio. And we were like free accommodation and free food. They're the best. I, I love you, Eduardo, if you're watching right now. Couch surfing would be a good idea. But you have to respect, by the way. It doesn't mean that they're giving you like accommodation. You're just gonna go to the refrigerator and eat it. Like you have to understand that you're only a guest. You have to respect the house rules. And you have to respect also the owner. It's a free application, by the way. Number three would be helpex.net. By the way, that's where I met Silver. Anyway, so <laughs> we exchange messages there where you can volunteer. Exchange for your food and your accommodation. In Southeast Asia, in Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, it, it already exists, the helpex.net. Helpex.net was very famous before in Europe. You get to work in a farm, which is very good. It can be an added skill. You can work in a farm for four hours, depending on your agreement with the owner of the house. And in exchange, you get to have uh, accommodation, food. It depends on your agreement with the owner. Not only farming, you can also do construction. If they're building a new house, they will put in the description what are the things that you need to help them. Those are the three main things that could help you save with your accommodation. Tip number five. Last but not the least, you have to read as much as possible. Watch YouTubers or vlogs or before, during, and after your travel. <laughs> What are the things that you need to prepare on? Most especially money, yourself, how are you going to deal with things when it happens? It could help you prepare yourself. If traveling is your passion, then maybe that's the reason why you're watching me right now, right? I hope so. So that's it. I hope it helps you guys in some ways. Um, that's, that's basically how I, I travel. So thank you guys for giving your time with me and keep updated and if you want to see some of my travel vlogs just look at the screen I put it somewhere around here just click it. Have a good day everyone. Ciao!